guys. Let me angle this down. Oh, of course, it's not going to work now. There it all set. Hold on. I think that works. Hopefully it does. Hi, you're not going to see much of me. Let me get my glasses so I can kind of see things. How are y'all doing today? Oh. Even though I have everything in front of me, I'm going to see if I can see you on here. So bear with. I'm at my daughter's house and systems, Wi-Fi, and what I have sometimes don't like each other. So let's see if I can find you. There I am. Turn that off. Yay, so you guys can see the table pretty good. Yay. And this way I can see comments here. Let me move this all over here. So, we are gonna be, oh, don't tell me I froze already, did I? No. All right, so what I've done already is I found these pumpkins. There's green ones. There's gray ones with plaid on them. There's black ones with plaid on them. And I found these all at Hobby Lobby. There's also ones that have different sayings on them that have like this, what does this one say? Oh, hello pumpkin, I forgot what I bought. And they have ones that say blessed and different ones. I also found these ones that this says gathered, this says blessing, these little leaves like this. So I thought we'd have some fun with them as well. Hello. Let's see. Hello, hello. So I've pre-done some of this with this because otherwise it's gonna take forever. So these pumpkins here, they come, it's the MDF kind of like stuff. So I've pre-painted all the sides are orange and I've done the backs either white or orange. And it's just one coat on these. It's not a, a lot. Um, because we're going to be decoupaging. So I have a variety of napkins here. And I have raffia of different colors that we can use. I know, I know you can't see everything, and it's because if I put this stand on the floor, then you can't see me, and if it's up on the table, at least you can see some of it. So I have some flowers I pulled off. I have a bunch of little greenery pieces here that we can use as well. So this is what I've chosen. I've gotten one napkin like this, and this has some really cute little sayings on it, which I really like, which is kind of pretty. I have a plaid one. This is green and white plaid. I have one that has, you know, just all different colored leaves on it. I have one that says, give thanks to all you do. And this one I've actually put, this one here was the gray one on this side, and I put the pumpkin on it. So you can kind of see the plaid through it, which I kind of like. I think that's kind of cool, actually. So it just gives it something, something, you know? And then I have some, this is, uh, whoops. It's like, like gold leaf look on it. And then I have this plaid one with the uh, sunflowers. Hello, everybody. How are you? So we're going to just play around and kind of do it. So I've kind of like laid them out. So I have the plaid one. Of course, I got to do this one on this one. Then the green one. I'm going to flip these over, make it easier for me to see. This big pumpkin one, I'm going to do this one on it. I did it white. Now you can paint the black, you know, orange or white, or if you don't want, that's up to you as well. But I wanted it, depending how you want it to stand out more, like this one was painted orange. No, I didn't paint this one at all. It looked like this, and then it's like this. So it just all depends what you want to do. Um, the leaf one, I think I'm just going to do just a plaid on the back of that one. I'm going to turn them over so I can see. <laughs> this one says, get blessed. Now I can use more of what these are. See, this one already has that on it. What do you have? You have nothing. <laughs> so I wanted to use this one. I think I'm going to use this one on here. Just kind of give it a little something, something. The leaf one, I'm going to use the leaf one on, I think, yeah, like that. And 
I do like this. I'm going to put this one on here like that. And I think I'll use this one on here. That should work. Just give it a little something, something. All right. So now that I kind of got it out and this one, I don't know what I want to put on it yet. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. So, hey, hit anywhere on those pages, those three little white dots pop up. Hit so you can get notifications. And, you know, especially if it's your first time watching. Yeah. All right. So we're going to cut. And, oh, hey, Bailey. Yeah. Do you have a cigarette lighter or matches? I forgot that part. You got a lighter? I just realized I forgot my lighter. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. This comes in handy for what we're going to do. All right. So I'm just going to put these kind of off to the side a little bit. And hopefully we'll be in frame here. You know, your napkins sometimes come in two ply or three ply. And you just, if you wet your fingers a little bit, it splits it just enough so that you can pull it apart. I don't need that part. Now, it's always hard to tell if it's two-ply or three-ply. This, I think, was just two-ply. Okay. So, I'm going to decide how I'm going to want this on here. I'm just going to cut out the whole little square right now because I know I'm going to be using the whole square. And it doesn't matter which one you cut out. It's whatever, whatever. Oop, let me make sure if I have the whole screw in here, if I have to go over a little bit. Now, on this one, I could take it down and not. I could paint this part orange, which I think I will. And I'm just going to have this down here and leave that orange. So that way I don't have to worry about covering that part. Okay, so you go over there. So I'm just going to kind of figure out how, where I want everything. I want it to be covered. So you got to make sure you can cover all the edges with everything. Got my decoupage. I'm just going to squirt some on here. Just paint it all over. And if you can't see, if you angle it up, you'll be able to see the glare you know, on it. And in my little cup holder there. And then I'll take my neck and go right down to the very edge. You got to watch it sometimes because if there's wording down at the edge, you don't want the wording coming across on top. Now I learned a little trick. If you get bubbles in this as it's drying and whatnot, you can take saran wrap and you can just kind of, I don't want to say the word wet it, but because the decoupage is wet and just rub over it if you don't want any creases or you have a little bubble underneath there. I kind of like the bubbles underneath there when it does it or the crinkles because it just gives it more texture, more dimension. Whatever words you want to choose. If you feel it's not sticking, put some more decoupage underneath. Sometimes this stuff dries pretty fast. There we go. I should just pour it in here. It'll be a lot easier than trying to dip it, pour it on the brush. Now you can use a paintbrush, you can use a sponge brush like I'm using, and I just go gently over it because I don't want to go too hard because then I don't want to rip the napkin. It's a red big bubble there. And sometimes I'll just pat it, but I love the wrinkles being in mine. Love, love it. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this off. I'm not going to trim it all off to fit because I'm going to show you, in case you didn't know, a little technique that you can do. Because you know how we always try to get it so it's just the right shape and then the 
It looks so jiggity jaggedy. Put that off to the side. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And we're gonna do the next one. So we can keep them going. Now this has the words printed on the bottom here, so that's what you want to find. Hi, Todd. Hi, Katie. Hi, Joan. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Janet. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hey, Katie. Shirley. Donna. Woohoo! Come and have some fun. All right. <laughs> here it is. It's right there. I have no nails. My hands were so tied. I we made all these shirts just so the kids, my grandkids and I. I don't know if you guys saw. Them. I posted a little video. I had to do a TikTok with them, so I did a little video. It was fun. Now the only thing with these is that the print is only on one side. That kind of stinks. <laughs> that really stinks. I was like, man, you couldn't do it on all four pieces. So. But don't throw these other pieces away. And the reason being, I'm going to see if I can show you why. Let me cut this one out. And see if you can see or not. Now, if you look really close, I don't know if it's going to show up or not. You can see like the imprint of the pumpkin and everything on here. I got to wait. There's a delay. No, you really, you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, so you can still use this on something else. So don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Now this has what would be one, two, three, four pumpkins. And they're all kind of wonky pumpkins. So I can do this napkin however I really want. I'm going to see if I can use the whole napkin even on the stem. And I can. Ew, that's going to be cute. Put them decoupage. Oh, I put some in the cup. I forgot I put it in the cup. Silly me. So what is everybody doing today? What is today? Today's Tuesday. I'm lost. I'm at my other daughter's house with my granddaughters. And you lose track of time sometimes. All right. Let's see if I can get this on one shot. Oh, I did it. Yay, it's all covered. Whoop, whoop. Yay me. Yay me. All right, so let's go ahead and put our decoupage. I always like to do around the edges kind of first, just to make sure that's all you know, down, and I'll just bring it in a little bit. Edges are important. Because if they're not sealed, the whole thing comes apart. Voila. Done. Put that one aside. Oops. Put some more decoupage in here. I need a lot of decoupage. All right, let's do the green one. Now, all these had stickers on the back. Actually, let's take that off. Let's do that one last. I want to do this one. Now, this is kind of like a creamy color. But I wanted, since I did this one with the plaid on the back, I wanted to do it with just white to see, you know, so the pumpkin stands out more. Um, so you just got to play around with it. And that's why when I do a bunch like this, I like to put the napkins on top because I'll think it out of my head and then I'll forget. I was like, which one was I going to do there? Oh, come here. All right, let's try another side. Oh, oh yay, got it. Got it. Now 
Yeah, one napkin one time I put it down and it had three pieces of this on it. I was like, what? And that was a pain. Pain in the derriere. All right, so we're gonna cut this out and I may have to go back and paint the stem on this one. Back to being orange. Let's see if I can get the whole napkin and the stem. I can. Woo! Works. Works. If I can cover the stem and with the napkin, I do it. If I can't, it's no big deal because once you put the decorations on it, then it will be fine. Okay. See if we can get this in one swoop. Oh, I did. Oh, oh. Oh, which way does that go? <laughs> I thought I totally missed the edge there. So I blot it sometimes and then I'll come back and smooth it because there's a lot of glue on this so that's why you see me blotting but I'll come back and smooth it but again I like to get the edges all right so paint away paint away oh there we go Hi, Linda. How are you? Welcome, welcome, everybody. All right, so that one's drying. Let's go back to our first one, make sure everything's okay on our first one. A couple little bubble things here. Sure, my edges are all done. I'll pull them up a little bit to see sometimes. It's a worry about up there just to make sure I did get all the edges. Alrighty. Here comes the fun part. Let's see if I can get this to work because this isn't mine. Oh, I did. Watch, guys. Watch it burn away. It won't go past the glue. Isn't that cool? Gotta make sure it's sticking up. Now I have a little hand lighter, not one of these, and I'll tell you these are better to use so you don't burn your fingers like I do. See how that works? Now what you do, you come back with a little piece of sandpaper. Once this dries a little bit more, it's better when it's more dried than wet. And then you just brush the sandpaper coming down. Now I'll cut this little flap off up there. So let's just cut off some of this excess on here. And the only reason why I do this, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm not burning the whole house down. <laughs> that would be fun. No, it won't. Okay, so I just make sure my edges are up. Burn away. And 
and especially when you get in these little corners, this makes it so easier than trying to take a pair of scissors and cut, 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 cut. one turn it upside down might make it easier so I can see now these aren't going to be totally dry I'm doing this with you today but we'll get majority of this done. There we go. There's a lot of glue there, so it may not burn all the way, but I can get it again with the sandpaper and burn it. So you can always look from behind the side and you can see where the edges are and whether or not you want to continue to burn it or if you just if it's close enough to the pumpkin that when you sand it, it will be okay. Just when you do it that way, just make sure you don't burn your fingers. So far, so good. All right, so let's get this baby going. Now this is one, this is the napkin I already had because I needed to say used it on the other one. And we just cut it down. Now this has some wording off in this corner, so I don't want that in there, but it says on the bottom here, it says um, pumpkins seasons. So I kind of want to get that on there. And it doesn't matter if the napkin is really wrinkled because you're going to decoupage it. So yeah, perfect. Now, if I want to shoot it down, if I don't want the word season on here or seasons to get more of the pumpkin, I can just slide it down. So this is with it slid down. I know I'm showing it to you upside down. But then I want to look at these sides here and maybe shift it just a little bit since I slid it down. To kind of get the pumpkin a little bit more centered. So it still says the word pumpkins up here. It says part of, oh, well, I get all the seasons. I get part of seasons. Pumpkins written here. I got the bees. I think that would be cool, right? Like that. Now, if you have a napkin where it's a repeat pattern like all over and you don't have to worry, those are kind of the good ones because then you don't have to worry about trying to center things and whatnot. But I like things that have some sayings and stuff on them, too, for something like this project, that is, at least. All right, pumpkin, how scented we're going to get you. We did good. We did good. Yay. Perfect. Perfect. Where's my decoupage? And you can do these for Christmas. Whether it's on wood, you do it on metal, whatever you want to do it on. Um, there's napkin clubs that you can join where you can exchange napkins with each other, which is kind of cool. Um, of course, you know, places where you can order napkins. But it's, it's great if they're four-sided. Like this one had all four sides, had the print on it, which is nice than like this orange one that just had the one side on it. But it's it's okay. What I want, it's okay. 
But if you get the four sided, you kind of get more for your more bang for your buck, as they say. All right, so we'll just stick this one off to the side. Let's do one of the leaves. Now I'm just, this is like an oak leaf. It has the word blessed on it. We can take this off, add some to it. But I haven't decided what I wanted to do with that yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna ad lib, do it as we go. And this is great. Now go into like, for instance, some of the stores that carry the guest napkins. Because you can find some really cool ones in there. Hey, Burma. Hey, Sandy. Hi, where did you get the napkins you have in your hand? Oh, Michelle, which ones? Okay, these I bought last year. And I want to say, mm, I don't know where I got this. Um, this pumpkin one here I ordered from a lady in the UK. As well as this. This came from Hobby Lobby. This came from Hobby Lobby. So um, all of them are different. I have some plaid ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now I got small ones. Now you can get them in normal sizes, um, you know, regular like napkin size that you would use at your dinner table. Um, it just depends on your project because the bigger the pattern, the bigger the project. So these were small pro um, projects, so that's why I have the small ones. Yes, sir. It's always got to be one. Split. <gasps> Maybe we won't be doing like. Oh, did I split this one already? Because I had one from home, and I, no, this isn't it. Okay. You can see it splitting right here. Split. I wish there was an easy way to do this, to be honest, but I don't know of any other way. Now, you can cut off your section that you want and not split the whole thing if you want. I just, once I start doing it, I just split it all off. Because once I cut a section off, I'll know that it's already been, you know, split apart. That was a long one. And depending how I want the leaves, depending if I want more of one color leaf on it, this is like an orangey one. I do like, oops, getting it on top of my other ones. I'm just going to go for it. So this is going to have some orange and it's going to have some blue. So what I'm trying to figure out, because this is wider, if I have to cut two of these, or part of another one, and I do. So let me cut part of this off. And I always try to just cut it to where it is on the fold anyway. Um, it's just a me thing, just a me thing. Where's this folding? Who knows? You know, it's like that follow the crease. You take tissue paper out, and then you're trying to follow the crease to put it back. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? All right. So decoupage our leaf. Do you? Should we get our edges? And like I said again, tilt it up so you can see where you, if you can't see, did I, like if you got it, if you painted it in a certain spot, the shine holding it up lets you see it shining. Does that make sense? This has a lot of excess. A lot. Let's cut that off right now because there's a lot of excess on this one. All right, decoupage, decoupage. And these are easy projects that you can do with kids because it's nothing that's gonna hurt them, well, except for cutting.
but you know, like hot glue, you know, burns unless you do a medium temperature with the hot glue. My hot pot glue gun is like one temperature. <laughs> it's like, go for it. And so I always wear my little happy fingers as I call them, those finger guards, because I'm always burning myself. I think we can all attest to that. How many of y'all have burnt your fingers? Hi, Glenda. Hi, Katie. Or Kathy. I'm sorry. I know I can say I've gotten a lot of burns from that glue gun. All right. So that one's done. And this one, we're just going to do the green plaid on it. I kind of like, and I love this green. So we're going to see how much of the green shows through compared to the white. Oops. This one started for me already. So it started for me and I still can't pick it up. And this is a three ply. I got two right here. Oh, wait. Look at that. <laughs> It's a two-ply. <laughs> it's just that it was folded over. Whoa, that was fun. I don't know why I have to have the leaf a certain way. That's weird. Now, you can put this, you can put them on an angle, or if you wanted to do it, you know, like square. I'm going to try to do it as square and line it up as best as I can. And can I use one napkin? Ooh, I can use one square. Which is good. Oh, my daughter's, what do they call that? An Instapot. I don't know what she's cooking. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so let's just paint this one up. So we all got kind of all different shapes here. We got one, well, three different shapes, right? One, two, three, four different shapes to give you some ideas. I'm going to put it just a hair on an angle. A hair. A hair. Because see, I just made it on there. Okay. All right. Oops. I want to get my scissors full of glue. God, that would be disastrous. I don't know why I brought those scissors, because they're good cutters, but I don't like to use them on the glue. So I always clean them. I have other scissors, but since I'm traveling and at my daughter's house, I try to, if I'm doing a craft, bring as less as much that I have to pack. And I try to pre-plan everything. So when I do a live, I don't have to worry about going out going, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. Hi, Lona, how are you? Hi, Glenda, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time watching, hit anywhere on the page and those three little dots will pop up on the side there and hit so you can get notifications. And if you see the red little thing that says live, that means we're live. We're live. But make sure you bless me if you don't mind, sprinkle the love, float my boat, you know how all that goes. All right. All right. So let's go back to this one. Now, the thing is, when this is still a little wet, do not put your fingers on it because you will pull it off. It will stick to your fingers. So I'm going to turn it upside down a little bit and cut off some of this excess on this one as well so we don't burn the house totally down. I don't think my daughter would appreciate that at all. Now, if it's a side that I've painted, now depending on the look that you want, you can sand the edges to make it look more rustic. 
And like when I go back with the sandpaper, um, once these are completely dry and sand off the edges, I will edge the sand down the edges to give it, you know, that rustic look more. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. So what I'm going to do on these, I'm just going to slice it down a little bit into that corner of the leaf, you know, where the, oops, into the little pocket, if you want to call it that. Just a way to make sure that it's going to really burn in that little pocket. Same on this side. Since we just did the green one, we'll give that one a little bit more time to dry. Whoops. And let's get these guys going. So again, trick of the trade. Whoops, I didn't cut that piece off. Trim it down the best you can. Leave the edges so they're up like this. And this is how I do it. And you burn it. And this will give it a more even nice looking edges see how it burned right in there get that one Oops, that one didn't want to go in there those are right down there and then whatever's still hanging off when this completely dry sand it down Oops. here we go so that one's done leaf my leaf Fart burns. And like I said, it just burned enough to the edge because, oops, curled that up probably. I dropped it. <laughs> um, and it won't go past that because the glue's there. Part I curled up. So much easier, faster. And it's, see, it, they take the shape on their own, so you're not really doing a lot of work on it, which makes it so much easier for you. So let me slip these. Oops. And there we go there. They say burn, baby. Is it in there? Did I not get it? Other side, other side. Hi, Fonda, how are you? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So each of them is going to have a different personality. Personality. Oops. Oh, we still have one more. Now this one I did with that napkin, and I had already done this because I wanted to show you that whether you put it on a plain side or if you put it on one of the sides that had the burlap on it, um, 
Not burlap. The um, check. So I think I'm going to do this one with this one. And keep it like all orange, orange. This one I may have split already. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, maybe I had since it was part of another. Now, let's see how we can do this. Should we have it coming down like that? That might be interesting and different. Do we want the, or do we want it in one corner? Or do we want it coming up from this way? I think I'm gonna do a corner. Why not? And I'll have just enough one square. So again, you just play with it until you get what you want or think you get what you want. I just want to make sure. Yep. One square. Now, if you get a bunch of napkins, you can always trade them with a friend if you have another friend that does it and say, hey, you know, they may have one that you like and that you like, or you can share, you know, go in with somebody on a, a bundle of napkins, you know. So keep that in mind. Don't just think, oh, you're stuck with 30 napkins all by yourself. You know, oh, you love the shirt? We tie-dyed these. Me and the kids tie-dyed shirts yesterday, my granddaughters. So we each um, did a shirt. Well, they did two, and we did bath, bath towels. And I posted it on my page, so in case anybody wanted to do it, you can kind of see I did a little video to show you how we did it because we did bath sheets and we had their initials we put their initial on it it's pretty cool how it came out actually first time doing that like that with the initial but it came out cool it really did and the kids like it the kids like it that's the important thing and they're right in the next room too so they hear everything i'm saying <laughs> some of this glue out of my sponge here good thing with the sponge it retains a lot of this all right so we got all our edges make sure our edges are all done good and you can always just pick it up a little bit and see make sure you got your edges Okay, that one's done. So we'll cut in here a little. Let's see if we burn this one right now. Might be too wet, but we'll see. I mean by it being too wet because to give it time to really set I get quiet at this because I'm concentrating you guys sorry sorry And I snip it, one, to get in the corners, but sometimes if you snip it, it will let it burn a little bit more. At least that's how I view it. I don't know if I'm going too high. I'm trying to show you guys as I do it. So much easier. Hallelujah. Now. These are gonna take a while to dry. So I have another little project. 
that is going to take a while to dry, a little bit while to dry too. Let me move all these out of the way. Um, I started it yesterday because I have to do it in stages to show you. Um, otherwise, it's not going to work. Then we'll be sitting here more than anything. So let me get it. I have it right here behind me. Hold on. Get rid of all this paper here. Hold on, because I was doing one part on it and I don't like what I did, so I want to pull it off before I show you. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So we got some wine bottles. So let me do this. We're going to need that. We're not going to need this. White, black, and orange. We're going to switch. We're going to switch now. So hold on. Because i got to change the scenery here. Scenery change. Scenery change. Remove this. Oops, let me put this here. I'm going to move this back to let them dry. And if they get dry enough, then we go to the next part. If not, I'm going to have to do part two with them. Because I don't have a hair dryer. Tuesday and share. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Love it when people share. Oh, I can't say that word. Okay. Oh, thank you. Can you plug it in? Is there a plug close to me here? Somewhere? Oh, Jesus. Okay. She's going to plug that in for me. Hot glue going. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Ah! Didn't know they made such a little one like this. Can you give me a paper plate real quick so I can... I don't want to put this on the... Burn the table. I'll get in trouble for that. That's my grand girl of Bailey. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So this is a cool one. I started this yesterday and I haven't finished. So, wine bottle. Get whatever one you want from wherever you want. You want to drink one? Go ahead and drink one. You want to get one from Michael's or Hobby Lobby? Hello. That's the best ones to get. Um, clear ones for what we're doing in this project is good. Um, what I've already done on these, I no water went inside, but I clean the outside with alcohol. And that way, any type of residue, fingerprints, and stuff out of that, they come with the corks, but we're not going to need those for this project. So what I started on this one, I started one eye, because we're going to make a cute little scarecrow out of this guy. Now, I like to shake it up. Now, these aren't my brushes. These are my daughter's my granddaughter's brushes, so we have to make do. I'm just making like a raindrop, okay? And this, there's no drawing to this. This is just, bring it down. 
make it as big as you think it should be around the other side and you're just going to come back and forth just paint it in and then you just take it away from you and look at it and you look to see if your eyes they look they look like cat's eyes right now honestly now I painted the other one yesterday so I'm just going to paint that because you will need more than one coat on this and I like to let the first coat really dry so whether or not you take a hair dryer or whatever on it to dry it so you can do it faster that's up to you but I do apply a second coat sometimes even a third coat it just depends and the best way I know is when I hold it up to the light now I don't think you guys can see which I see there's some parts that you are white showing through because I've smeared smeared the paint off so if you hold it up to the light, you can, just whether you window or not, you can see, and then you can go back and fill it in. Okay. Just fill it in. So this one's semi dry, because I can see where my paintbrush marks are. So I'm just going to come back over with it again. If I had an angle brush, I'd use it, but she doesn't have one. And the only one I bought was my big one, thinking that would be okay, but different type of brush would be better. All right, so we got to let that one dry. Close it up, and I normally have, I know I have two little plastic trays. Another one. Hey, Shirley, how are you? Let me, I don't know where my other one went. Because I usually have, I have a big water thing. Oh, here it is, here it is. It's like I knew I had another one of these. I usually have a big water thing so I can put water and just stick my paint brushes in it as I use them. But here, you, you got to do with what you got to do. Thank you, Janet. So the next part, and the, and see, this is what we're getting to. And he's not finished, so i got to finish him, him, her, with you. Got to make a scarecrow. I'm going to try a different paintbrush with this one. So all I'm going to do is make a triangle. Make sure I'm in the frame here. All right, just figure where your center is. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's a scarecrow, y'all. Figure out where you want to start with the nose. Just come down, make it as big as you want. See how wiggly my line is? It doesn't matter, because we'll go back and we'll fix it. It's paint. You can fix it. If you really hate it, just take a, pa um, take a paper towel with um, some water on it and wipe it off. That's all you have to do. Don't get stressed and say, I can't paint. This is not right. It's almost like a teardrop as well as what we did on the other, on the eyes, that is. Again, we have to let it dry a little bit so we can add another layer. I try to not have any paint really, like a whole glob, like edging on the edge. So just make sure you don't have that and it's nice and smooth. So just go a little bit on the outside of it. If you worry about your hand shaking, lean it on something. My hand shakes. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to do something on a line. So look, see, he's getting a face. Or she. He or she. All right, so we got to let that dry a little bit before we can add some more to him. All right, let me just go, because let me just put some water in here. It'll be easier. I'm running back and forth to the sink. Okay, let those hang out there. Hopefully I won't dump them all over the place. All right. 
so that so you would go back again and again on these so the next part what I'm going to do is we're going to decide on the mouth and she has some more paint brushes over here let me see if one of these Now, if you feel you're not good with drawing a line with a paintbrush, they have magic markers. I'm oh, not magic markers. They're paint markers that you can use, okay? So don't be afraid. I use them. The mouth. There is no right or wrong to his mouth, okay? You make it what you want. You want it nice and jiggly, jaggly. Go ahead. You want a nice, you know, kind of round smile up to you what you want to do so i'm just going to start i'm going to kind of look at his face or her face and just start and kind of give myself an idea of how high i want to come up on the sides and how low i want to come down to the bottom and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if this is all up higher or lower it's up to you so i'm going to come just below his nose out to about where his eye is and i'm just going to draw a jiggly line And come up on the other side. See? Jiggly line. And then I'll come back. And again, you may have to go over this a second time. However dark you want it to be. However jiggly jaggly you want it to be. So you see he's starting to come to life. He or she, right? Not hard. Not hard, you guys. It's easy. Anybody can do this. Now I have to let all that dry. I can't do anything more on that one. But to do the eyes, all I did was take the back of a paintbrush, dipped it in white paint, and put a dot. Dipped it again, put a dot. To do these little curls, it's like making the letter C. The same thing, same paintbrush, dot, and I just dragged it a little. Don't dig the drag, just drag it lightly on top. And the same thing there. And then you have your eyes, okay? Now one thing, I started to do dash painting on this one, and I'm not too happy with that style. So I do wanna connect and make his nose all the way black, all the way around. So I'll just take my paintbrush and just continue my lines so that they're all connected. I was playing around with this one yesterday. So that's why I didn't do a live or anything because I wanted to play around, get it to where I want it, and then come on with you guys. Okay, make it as thick as you want, make it as thin as you want. Now, I like to make pretend like it's stitched. I keep thinking I, I have painted this, so that's why I was like looking at my hand. So I'm just gonna take some black, and just like I made down here, now I know it's hard to see, I made little X's on his mouth, okay? And I'm just gonna do little X's on here, just very lightly. And you just come every so often and do an X. Because his nose was stitched on. I gotta turn it the other way so I can see. Not perfect stitches, remember, it's a scarecrow. And we'll put one more up here. So he has little stitches on his nose. And I did the same thing on his mouth. Now, in filling him, now I found this to be um, my way, my problem, was trying to get all this in. Now you can use raffia if you want. I chose, or you can use real hay if you want to. I chose not to use either. I went out and bought this shredded, you know, it's like shredded paper you know, corrugated, however they crinkled it up. 
and I just kept stuffing it, stuffing it down in there till I get however much you want, how, however thick you want it to be, full you want it to be, or whatever. All right, and that's all I did. I got glue on here because this is what I took off. I started to make his hat, and then I changed my my thought process in his hat. So I'm wondering, could you? Put some wrinkle lights in the straw. I wonder if that would. I thought about that. They do sell where um, the cork um, has the lights. It's connected to the cork and it's a string of lights in there. And I thought about trying that. The only thing for me was that trying to get the lights more on the out, closer to the outside of the glass so that you would see them because I thought with the paper it might hide it but depending on the lights that you wind up fine. But Michael's does sell it with the cork with that. They also sell it, um, not it's not a cork, but the top, with the topper and the light shines just down from here, you know, so it would illuminate here. But we're not using the cork on this. And that's why you can't use that. So um, I kind of ruled those out. <laughs> So now, now if you're using wrap beer, it would be the same thing. Let me move him off to the side. I just got to remember, I painted his nose. I'm just going to take some of this corrugated. And what we're going to do, now if you use raffia, raffia is longer and stuff like that. I'm just going to get a whole wad of it. I don't know why I'm taking out string by string. That's silly. Because I want this sticking out at the top. Because, you know, Scarecrow has, has hair up the top. So I'm just going to stick this part in and stick it in just like that. So Ishii has hair sticking out at the top. However much you want to put in there is up to you. Now, if you want to glue this in, you can. So I can just take, hopefully the glue gun is on. Oh, glue stick. Glue stick go. Why is the glue stick not going? There it goes. There we go. And what I'll do is just, oops, get that back. Is I'll just line this glass with just a little bit of glue. Or some glue, a lot of glue. And then I'll stick this back in just like what I had it. So that way it kind of holds it in there. But watch your fingers. Take them into the toothbrush, the toothbrush, paintbrush, and you can stick it in. And then they have hair. It's one of those little chia pets. You know, you water it and it grows hair. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now, what I decided to change was the style of hat. Now, I'm going to make these. This, um, I used, I, I didn't have her glue gun yesterday to after the fact. So I was using the E6000 glue on it and I had a hat on it and then I forgot to put hair. He has to have hair. Let me get the glue string from around his eyeball. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get some of our stuff. However much hair you want him, him she you have is up to you. Him she, him she. It's a new name. Oh, can I coin that? Like that's my new name. My scarecrows. Do I think that's enough? A him she. So I'm gonna put some glue on the side. I'm gonna put it on the stem of the glass. I have not used a glue gun like this in a while. Mine's different. And I just twisted it a little bit. Just kind of. Hold it so it's a little bit there. So that it's kind of like all together kind of thing. Oh, look at it, it's coming to life. She got hair. She got hair. Put that little piece on there. Stick you on. All right. No, don't kind of go into the glue gun. He can walk around. That would be a lot safer than going underneath there, please. Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's put some hair on this side. How much hair? It's about good.
And I'm just going side to side first, just so I can get that part done. And we don't need you to come up really high because we're going to be making a hat. So this is going to get covered. All this that's up here will get covered. You can cut it if you want to. Oh my God. That's so cute. Okay, I'm just in love with my project, y'all. That's all I can say. If you guys like this, give me some hearts, y'all. Give me some hearts. So again, raffia, if you want to use some other thing, something else, you can. Um, I, I thought this was kind of easy. I didn't want to use hay, like I said, because some people are allergic to that. So we're going to put some hair around the back here. And I'm just doing in, you know, little sections of it. Now you can make these into snowmen, which don't need hair, <laughs> needless to say. You like it with the hair? Should we braid it? <laughs> that would be funny. Not happening though, but it would be funny. Our, oh, I ripped that apart. That's okay. Doesn't matter. And put some more glue back here. Put the rest of our hair in. Don't stick your fingers to the hair. That would be better. So look at, oh my God, that's so cute. The hair just makes it all, it does. All right, now well, I got glue sticking all over me. So what I'm gonna do is just trim these down because this is gonna be covered and you're not gonna see it. So I don't need all this sticking up and getting in my way. So just about down to where I had it glued is good. Give or take. All right, so I'm going to make this a girl. Should make it a girl. Or should make it the boy. Boy or girl? Pick one. Girl. girl? All right, my granddaughter says girl. So I got this from Michael's. It's burlap. And what I'm going to try to do is see if this will work. Do you have a piece of thread, like sewing thread somewhere, a string? So, some of this, would, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys. I've never made these before. So, my brain starts thinking one way, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. Do you have a piece? I want to do it so I can gather it up to make like a ruffle on a hat. Since this is the girl. I think my granddaughter is going upstairs. These are still drying. Pumpkins are still drying. So let's figure out if it's going to go once around. We need to at least double that. So we'll go a little bit more. So we can always take off, but we can't add. <laughs> Adding would be horrible. Okay. So if you don't have it, you can just gather this and glue it as you go to make the ruffle. So see what I mean? The little ruffle on the front of her hat? Can you find any? No? Okay, that's fine. So we'll glue. We're going to do, oh, do the glue method. So I'm just going to start this kind of on her side a little bit to the back. I just don't want to burn my fingers. I didn't bring my sticky fingers, my glue, my happy fingers. I have those things. Let go on your tips of your fingers. Go on. Oh. Okay. Jeez. I 
and I'm just creasing it as I go. And I don't care about the bottom, I just care about the top. And just hold it. There we go. And I, I don't know, you want to say this is about a half an inch of fold, and which makes about a quarter of an inch, give or take. Did you find them? Girl, where's all your stuff? What do you craft stuff, girl? Can you hold the bottle? Just don't put your finger on the nose. You can stay down there. Perfect. Now, I could probably take the wire out of this one side. Probably would make it easier in a way. But I didn't do that. Oh, it's so much easier when somebody's holding the bottle. Don't let her long hair from her top piece get in here. Stick, stick, stick. I know this is hard for y'all to see. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> My God, that's hot. Molly, and then some. Oh, goodness. And you can make your pleats as close as you want or as far apart as you want. That is totally up to you. But it's coming out cute. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it as it turns a little bit. Good idea. And we had to put the other part of the hat on. Now you could do the other part and put the ruffle on top if you want to. Tis up to you how you want to do your scarecrow. Plenty. Word, I didn't cut enough, maybe, but I did. That glue string? Mm -hmm. I get those all off at the end. Because <laughs> there's no sense getting them off now because they're going to come they're back. Annoying. They are annoying. You feel these little cobwebs on you. Little cobwebs. All right, let's put some on here. Watch your hand up. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Helping hands, yes, definitely, Janet, helping hands. If you have some other way you think works better, hey, go for it. Go for it. Oops, I need another glue stick. Here are the glue sticks. They're in the baggie. Oh, here, here. Okay, that's done. 
It's, it's right at the edge there. Okay, bottle holder. Almost to the end. Tedious, this part. So I would recommend doing a piece of string through this that you can draw a string this. So that way, and then kind of at the end, just kind of slide it over. That would be my suggestion on this. And I think I just have just enough to overlap this and finish it in the back. my scissors. I'm going to cut this piece off right like this. Put that last piece on there. Voila. Oh, that's so cute. A little ruffly hat. Uh, oh my god. Okay. As far as so now we're going to take some of this. What we're going to do is just bring it down just a little bit to cover that edge. And that's why I said if you want to do the opposite, put this on first, then do it. it it's really, there's no right or wrong. It's really what you prefer. And that's going to be cute. So we'll do one like that. So, perfect. Should have been a hair day. So put some glue back here, my starter piece. Let me turn around so she faces me. Oh, watch your fingers. And I'm putting the glue not just on the glass, but I'm putting it down around that just where the ruffle came up, like if you can see here, I'm going to tag that in the glue. I'm um, in the hat, so you don't see it. Take that off. Push the glue stick down. Thank you, ma'am. Push the glue stick. Come around. We're going to finish that one off in the back. And we're going to do one more layer of this. Now, if you want to do something different, I chose this because I thought, again, all the little burlap, and I thought the ruffle being a little girl would look cute. Whoa, maybe she had too much wine. And that finishes that part of her hat. No, no, don't. No, first one down. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Paintbrush might stick. Paintbrush might stick. Okay. Look at how cute that's coming, y'all. All right. Don't pull our hair out. I can put more in it. All right, we're going to do one more loopy do around. So you're going to see a little bit of the ruffle peekabooing. Not all of it. Hot glue. Ooh. It's hot glue. It's hot. It's hot. I'm telling you, it's hot. Ooh, watch your fingers. Oh, this is so cute. 
I like her hat. Where's the back of her head? All right. So we're to the end. Da, 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 da. Look at that, how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just beside myself, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Shirley, she needs a small sunflower. I got sunflowers. I do. I have a little sunflower over here, and I have... This is... Um, no, no, I could do... Uh, oh. What one? What one? I have... It's like a daisy. I have daisies. I have a little orange thing. Oh, I think the orange thing. Maybe a little leaf. The leaf. The leaf. These leaves? That's not a leaf. Flower. <laughs> I know that. Do if you're doing Now if you do, like I have the plain burlap and this is shredded on the side. This is gonna be on the other one. So I'm gonna do like a boy and a girl. And um you can do ribbon like around his if you want to or whatever. She's cute. You get all the glue strings. You should do these ones on her. Those are daisies. Stuck with it. No, that that yes. leaf won't go. I think this leaf would go better. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the ivy. She's an ivy girl. Let's see if we do that with one of the flowers. What color flower? Not the red. We could do yellow, yellow or the yellow with the orange. Which one? Pick one. Yellow with the orange? Okay. What side of the head do you want to put it on? That that side? What, that side? Okay. We put the leaves on. We flip her hair to the other side. Leaves go on. Where's the flower? Oh, let's take the flower this way. Maybe put the leaves like this. Oh. Come a little bit more forward. Do we another set of small leaves here? Yeah. We do this. Let me do this. Yep. Glue gun. Pick up the flower a little bit and put the leaf in there. Let's cut these down. I don't want them sticking out as much as they are. Oh, that, yeah. See how much better that is? Look how much better the leaf laying down. I don't know if you guys saw it. You probably didn't see it the other way. Glue gun. Glue. Oh, yeah. Need glue. <laughs> My fingers are sticky. Glue. I touched that thing. That was, oh. One more. Glue. Oh, guys, this is cute. Look at that. And then she's got her hair, her bad hair day. Oh That's my so God. Cute. Isn't that cute? It's something different. Now, what I'll do is because I want to do the project with you if I did, I will take, you could either do a matte finish spray on it just to seal the paint on. Um, or if you want to do a glossy, that's up to you. Maybe a glossy might work on this because it's a shiny um, glass. But look at how cute she is. Isn't that cute? Her little scarecrow. Look at her little flowers in her hair. Oh, my God. I just love her. Put her hair wherever way. Oh, my God. So what do you guys think? If you think she's cool, give me some hearts. 
me some hearts, y'all. Some hearts. I think she came out kind of cute. Little scarecrow. And again, you can make it a snowman, whatever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Yay. So she's cute. Maybe we can put a little bit of straw up here, you think? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let's get some let's straw. This is paper. Burlap. No, it's not burlap. It's paper. It's like shredded paper and they crinkle it. Not that much. <laughs> Jesus. Look, I got all this. This might be enough. Wait, hold on. So we'll fold this in half. I'll kind of twist it and fold it in half. Oh, yeah. She needs some bangs, y'all. Lay down, baby. We gotta have some bangs. So get me some more. I'm using the, the paintbrush. Here, set it here. Okay. Oh yeah. That just finishes her off. It looks so much better with the bangs. With the, with the what? Bangs. Yeah, she needed bangs. She needed some bangs. She looked a little naked there without her bangs. Just cut the bangs a little bit so you can see her eyes. <laughs> Look at isn't that cute? <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> Guys, this is so cute. Put it with some pumpkins. Okay, I know. Got here late. I'm going to have to watch the clean video capture. This is adorable. Abby and I need to make this. Yes, Claudia. The, it's a wine bottle. You're just painting raindrops. Now, if you can't paint or you don't think you can paint, get like the foam, you know, pieces. And can you angle that camera up a little bit? So we can see my, oh, look, I have a face. That's good. Um, you can get the foam and cut it into like raindrop saves the, the part for the nose. And then again, just paint the face. Just have fun because there's no right or wrong in doing this. This is all your taste, all right, on this one. Um, and it's just paint. Just watch the glue. And again, you got to put a coat on this. Otherwise, the paint will scratch off. So whether... Um, a clear satin or glossy finish whatever on it it's up to you what you want to do I just wanted to get it done to show you guys what I would do that so that's that now let's see where oh good our pumpkins are dry oh that came out cute mm -hmm. I like her god some things you just love all right let's just stick them get all the wine bottles out of the way we don't need any paint we don't need any yeah, we don't need this. Oh, just stick it in this bag. I'll put this away. All right, let's get back to our pumpkins so we can do that. Um, glue gun we will need. Flowers. You're going to be my flower girl, right? You can pick out the flowers that you want to put on there. I'll just use this. Okay, it'll be easier. So, with this one first, we got to cut this down a little bit. Oh, I've got so much glue on my fingers. Oh, I thought that was... Just have another glue stick ready, girlfriend. Okay, where is the bag? You got the bag. So, let me just cut this down in orange paint. And what we're going to do, we're just going to paint the top of this um, orange. Do these need flowers? Um, I don't, I can do whatever. I got raffia. This is raffia. We can take that and tie some up on it. Now, these are two-sided. So one side's going to have something. One side's going to have another. So that you can change it up if you want to. And let me just paint this orange. And we'll let this one dry really quick. Um, all right, so we're going to let this one dry. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. All right. So we have this one. So again, you would sand this, and I could do that later. So we're going to decorate one side. 
I think, because you couldn't find the sandpaper, right? Mm -mm. I wonder if I could use this. No. <laughs> I have a nail file. Oh, yes, nail file. I have what? lots of those. Kids are good for something. So hold on, we're gonna angle, I'm gonna angle the, the thing back down so you can see. This is what I did before. I, it's decoupage and I just burned the edges so you don't have to worry about cutting it. Now the only part we have to do is sand these um, edges off a little bit. So she's getting the nail file. We'll go ahead. Just a little bit more. Oh, perfect, good job. Smart cookie. All right, so angle that down, camera down, and do it this way, shift it this way a little bit. Okay, can you guys see? Oh wait, perfect, right there, right there, perfect. Oh, smart cookie. Now you're probably never gonna wanna use this again. I have like two of those ones. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. So all I'm doing is filing down the sides. And we go down, we don't want to go up, because if we go up, then we're going to go ahead and possibly peel off the napkin, and we don't want to do that. You know, I got one of those metal knife files in my pocketbook, the little pocket inside, if you want to get that. And you can help me if you Where want. Is it? It's by the, behind the couch there. Oh, I have another file in the room. So wherever I just need to file off whatever edge, that's all I'm doing, and I'm going down. It looks like a, a knife kind of thing. Yeah, let me see. It's a little bit sharper. All right, so you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. You want to do it? So you're just gonna just on the edge and just go down. Don't rise it up. Okay, you want to use this one. You want to come sit by me so you can be in the picture. You can come sit by me. I'll let you sit by me. <laughs> this is my granddaughter Bailey. I don't know what. Oh, I'm thinking you're on this side of the picture. <laughs> this way. I'll move over. So you're not going to see her head really. Yep. And then you can take your finger, see how it comes off, and just take your finger. So if you don't have sandpaper, use a nail file. Now don't do the orange part, like here. Don't file on here. We're just doing it on an angle here. Hello. You need the whole bag of Oreos? No. Yeah, you can be the one. We have flowers and we have this raffia stuff, okay? So you're gonna be the one that hands me that. I'm gonna finish, I'm almost done with this pumpkin. And then you can, we're gonna pick and you can hand that stuff to me, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be wild. You can't do it in the circles there. That's okay. I'll do it. I think I got it. Oh, no. Missed this whole part up here. Mm -hmm. How did I miss that part? And this also gives it, you know. Oh, well, yeah, because I moved over. Mm. You want to come in the picture, too? No? Okay. Um. You know what I was talking about, the edges, if you wanted the edges to be a little bit more rustic, it's the same thing. It does that as well. Yeah, I can't get inside of that thing. Okay, we'll do the rest and I'll do the inside. Okay, Cassidy. Now we have an orange pumpkin on this side. And we have Green on this side. All right. So what are we gonna do? 
Shall we put some green on this side then? To have some green on this side? Some of this stuff? See how this has green? So you want to give me some of that stuff? Some of the raffia out? You do it on the thing. So you see, you can see the edges. And it's not, it's not when you cut it with the scissors you get all jaggedy and all on there. Hi, Merle. Hi, Janet. How are you? Hi, Shirley. Okay, so we're going to take some green raffia. And what we're going to do, now, depending if you want to, we're going to do this two-sided. Oh, I like the green on that. I think that looks pretty. And we're just going to make small, a small little bow. Because, again, we want this to be two-sided. So if they want this side out and if they want to keep this side out all year. So we don't want to make it look too folly, so to speak. But something they can use all year, maybe. Where's my scissors? Oh, right here. All right. So. And all I'm going to do is take a little piece of this. And I'm just going to wrap it around because we're going to glue it. You have get one really long piece in there. All right. So we're going to glue it right onto here. I forgot which side I ended it on. That's a, that's the wood. No, it's like a. No, that's some of the glue. Something. That's some of the glue. Oh. That's fine. You'll soon it all. Then I'll just do that. Want a flower or something on here, Cassidy? What color? Here are the here are the flowers. You want a little piece of that on there? Okay. She chose this. like little berries. Actually, let's stick it underneath. This glue is still a little bit wet. Let's pull that off really quick and put some more and we'll put it right underneath. And then we'll put this right back on top. That's cute. Good choice, Cassidy. So we have a little thing. Now what are we going to do on the other side? The glue string. We'll get those at the end. What what should we put on the other side now? Some raffia. What we'll color? We have lots of colors. What's there? What colors we got there? You want? What color you want to do? Brown. Okay. Just take a little brown out. When you get these thick pieces like this, y'all, y'all can take them and just split them. Just like that. Okay. Ooh, I think that'll look pretty on there. Then make a little bow. Make that side a little bit bigger. And this side will be the generic kind of side. So again, they can keep it out all year. So we don't want to make everything look so fall, fall, fall if they want to keep it up all year. And I'm just going to take a piece of this, wrap it around. You can knot it. You can do a piece of knot if you want to. I'm just choosing to use the raffia. Okay, put this brown pieces back in, okay? And what are we going to put on this? How about a white flower? White flower, mm -hmm. good idea? Can I say? This is the same one. Put a white flower on that one, a little daisy. Daisy Duke. Turn it upside down, put that on there. 
Oh, oh that's what I was looking for, those. You get it? Almost. Okay. Oh, that's not cutting. Nope. Dab of glue on here. Oh, I need a glue stick. There's one on the other plate. Oh. So they can have this one out all year if they want it that way. Um, oh, can I borrow the scissors? It's a little bit long here. Let's just cut those off a little bit. So they have this out for the year, and then when the fall comes, they can have that side. So just something different. And what they can do, they can just fold this down like this, the wrap you a little bit, so that they won't have it sticking up as much. It's a one piece right here. Sure. All right. Now, can I do one? No. What do you want to do? You want to do that what Bailey's doing? Yes. Okay. Let me get that little piece right there. Bailey, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm going to. the green leaf. Okay, the green leaf. So, listen what you're going to do. You're going to push it down. Oh. Don't come this way because it will rip off the paper, okay? It's like this. Just like this, push it down. And you're going to try to get those little pieces of paper off. Like this? Yep. You can do it on an angle a little bit. So you get... And you just do it just like that. See the pieces coming off? That's what you want. Okay? I got all kinds of help today. All right, so this gives, says give thanks um, in all you do. And then when that... So this side... Let's see, I'm not going to put any flowers on this side. This has brown, so let's do the brown raffia on this one. Not back and forth, just get to push it. Don't, don't pull it. You gotta hold it flat on it like that. And if you have to use the other side of the wrap thing, use the other side. Whichever side works better for you. This one's going away faster. Yeah, some will go faster. Some may seem easier than others. Well, now that I've gotten the hang of it. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, you'll get it. There's bubbles in it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Don't put your fingers on the... Try to hold it on the sides like this because it may still be a little wet. Okay? What you need, Cassidy? You want to switch with her, please? This will be easier for her. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. All right, the reason why I'm choosing brown, this has a brown leaf in it. So I figured the brown might be cute to do. Came in late, where did you get the pumpkins? Surely, these pumpkins here are at Hobby Lobby and they come in the gray, they have green, and they have black. I think are the three colors. Um, they all actually all came from Hobby Lobby, the ones that are leaves, have different sayings already on them like this. Um, she's got the other one that says, hello, pumpkin. I think there were some ones um, that had the word saying like blessed on it or something. Um, so, oops. I'm use this one. That one, which that one easy for you? It's just a smaller one. Smaller one easier? Pick one, give one to Cass, give one to Bailey. Okay, cool. All right, so we got our brown. And what we did, um, hey Celia, how are you? What we did, we decoupaged on this. So I had different napkins that I've gotten from different places. So, Who's got the one with the pumpkin? pumpkin? So this, no, this one. This one, it was only one side on the napkin. The rest didn't, didn't have anything else on it. Then I have the Give Thanks. This was from Hobby Lobby last year, and I think they got this this year. You gotta do it all the way around. I know, but it's actually hard. Okay, then just, I'll do it later. Then I had some plaid ones got from Hobby Lobby last year. 
This I got this year from Hobby Lobby. And these come in bigger sizes. I got the small ones because I was doing small things. Please don't put my scissors in there. Um, I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, I want to say last year. Um, and then this pumpkin one I got from a lady in the UK that does napkins. And I got this one. That one. Here, I do believe one that she was working on. Thank you, ma'am. Where's where's the nail file you were using? The Here's this one. No, it was a... Oh, okay. So remember, hold it on the sides. Here's what I'm doing with okay. my finger. Okay. Nail files work well if you don't have sandpaper. My granddaughter came up with that idea when she said, I have a nail file. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can only finish this one. I gotta finish one before I go on another. I'm making a mess. Alright, so that one is what I want on that side. This one has gray. Oh, yellow on this side? You want yellow? Yellow would look good. No, no, no. Let's try it out. Hold on a little while. You're gonna split it? That's okay. Oh, maybe a yellow on this one. What's this one? Mm, oh, this one, maybe orange. We'll do orange on both sides on that one, maybe. Oh, do I have white? No, I don't have white. <laughs> <laughs> have like oh, this would be a yellow. This would look kind of pretty. Or we can mix green in with this. Should we mix some green in with this one, Cassidy? Mm -hmm. I have my other granddaughter on the other side who doesn't want to be in the pictures. You have using both sides. Well, surely the idea is, you know, um, like for instance, this one's plain. So if you want to keep it up all year, I mean, this side you can too as well, because it has that um, the buffalo plate on both. This one has, you know, the pumpkin on one, and it's just plain on the other side. So each one's a little different. So if you wanted to keep them out all year, I mean, you can, you know, in your display. Oh, I like the yellow one with this one. Mm -hmm. Just looping and making some bows. What color you got there now? What, what are you putting on your head? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, kids. Kids, kids, kids. So we got yellow. We got to put a flower with this one. What color flower? Do a white flower. No, I think a yellow one might go good. Oh, good choice, Cassie. <laughs> Take the words right out of my mouth, girlfriend. <gasps> that looks cute. Ouch. Hot glue. Hot glue. All right, so we have a little brown on this one. I don't want to put any flowers or anything because I want you to be able to see the words. Let me cut that one long brown one out of the way. And then we just have a little yellow on this one. That's pretty. Pretty, guys. The choices you're making. Oops, let me get my stuff that's all over the floor. All right, what one's next? All orange. Stick a little brown in with this one to let the orange stand out a little bit more. Ooh, split that one up, baby. Have another brown one piece here. No, I cut it up. <laughs> Good job. And that piece too. Have 
have one more piece of brown. I think this one, this one's thinner. All right, we're gonna do one leaf. Oh, you almost got them all done, actually. This one got glued on, like the edges got glued on. That's okay, the more you file it, it will come off. Now, again, you can knot this, take a piece and knot it. I'm just wrapping it around. And I'm using that piece still as my little tail, so to speak. I'm gonna put a white flower with this one. No, that one's not gonna go. It's gonna that go in there. Really. Where's the center to this one? There's other ones that are white. Oh, well, maybe that one. Ooh, I like that one. Don't cut them off. Don't cut them off yet, please. Until we're ready to use them. You can cut that. Just be careful. With the scissors. All right, let me unbar the scissors for a sec to cut these a little bit shorter on this side. Oh, look how cute. See? And now we'll do the other side. We're going to do the same color. So I need orange and brown again. I think that this is long enough orange. Do you have another brown? There's oh, brown right here. Oh wait, I got brown. I got brown. Oh, yep, I need another one. Okay, so we have two and two. Good job. This side we're not gonna put a, any flowers on it because it has the pumpkins and everything on there. We want that to show. the glue gun instead of the uh, the scissors. side so this one is hello pumpkin can be left up all year and then you have more of the fall the pumpkin seasonal there what ones did you finish you finished There's the leaf two. wow and then i have two this one and the other leaf get that little chip off there cool now these came with this little little stuff on it and I'll, I'm just gonna leave that I think that looks cute with those on there so we're just gonna do the other side sending Bailey birthday wishes for a happy day that's my friend in Ireland can you say hi Miss Janet hi <laughs> hi Jim I'm back hey Tom Tom you missed I don't know when you came back but I'm gonna recap in just a few minutes so you can see everything we've made Oop, don't blow. Can't blow. All right. So this has brown. So why don't we do some brown? And maybe we'll use this orange flower on this side. That's right. A red flower. I was close. I want to save one of these for this one. Yeah. So brown. And what other colors are in here? Like a yellow? A yellowy color. Mm -hmm. Here we got yellow right here. I got some yellow. We got another piece of brown. We got another piece of yellow. Oh, Jinx the cat loves all this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull it all out of my hand. 
Yeah, I think those colors would go good. So now this sits on the table like this, um, is what it does. So I'm going to put the bow, let's see how we're going to do this. Should I put the bow at the top? Why don't we do this? Hold off on this. Hold off on this. Where's all my greenery? Cassidy, where's all my green leaves? Oh, we'll put this on the table. Where's all my leaves? Here we There's go. Some Here's some leaves. They were hiding. Ooh, I think we'll do some leaves on here instead. So these are just leaves I've had left over from other projects. I always keep these little things because you never know when you're going to need them. Ooh, I think that would be better. What do you think, Bailey? I think mm -hmm. with the green leaves on there because it kind of matches, you know, it would be like, well, not matches, but ooh, I think that would be better than doing raffia. She's calling you. Also has two napkins. Yeah. I already had done the other side. Okay, so we got little leaves on that side. I wanted to use the red flower on this one. And again, these are all little flower pieces and stuff mm -hmm. that I had left over. And I keep, <laughs> keep all these little things. What do you think? So we have that on that side. Now you flip it over and you have those little leaves on that side. It's Just like, a little something. It's like that could be for Christmas. Right oh, yeah, there. you could kind of keep that out for Christmas. Oh, good idea, girl. Who knew? I didn't know. You did. All right, how many more pumpkins we got? Uh, that one and that one. And then so this, this one? Leaf. Yeah. Oh. This is not stuck, so you just need to be peeled off. All right. Oh, what colors? So I've been doing brown on this side. I should do like this color. That color? Yeah. Oh, I'll do it on this color. side. This side has that color, the natural color. Okay, so we got lots of raffia. We got all kinds of color raffia. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to curl it. I could do it like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's like... Did you paint these? No. Oh. I came that way. Ooh, I could do just it off to the side like that, y'all. Is that a knot in it? This piece has a knot in it. Oh, I like that idea. Let's split this one. Is it split? I like splitting the raffia. Just like a bow. Just put some down and loop it up. We'll cut the edges. Ooh, I like this idea. Hallelujah. Just wrap this around. Or again, you can tie it in a knot. Ooh. I like it when I think of outside the box. So we're just gonna put it on an angle. All these that have loops on them, we're going to cut the loops. That's cute. Mm -hmm. What should we should put anything else with that up here? We should do like, like um, some of these white things. Some of these white things? Yeah. Let's see how some of these white things. No, I don't like the white things. <laughs> Let's do I have some of this? Here's some leaves. Uh, no, I bought that, but I'm not too keen on it after I bought it. 
Yeah. Oh, just a little leaf. And then you could put like a flower. We'll stick it right underneath this part here. You get them all done? Mm hmm Good job, girl. Mm -hmm. I need you guys to help oh, me all the time. This flower could go like right up here. Yeah, that one's going to go on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute, guys. See? Doesn't have to be all the way across in a bow all the time. Maybe just put some leaves on this one. I'm into the ivy. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Shirley. Just a little bit of ivy. Ivy. So it looks like a pumpkin leaf coming out of it. before just two leaves mm -hmm. oh what are you doing with all my raffia are you playing with the cat with that oh my god mm -hmm. you whatever mess you clean it up I think I'll stick a little flower in the middle of this one that'd be cute all right, look at that one. So this one's done. So this two-sided, oh, all the glue strings, gosh, what a pain. So like that on one side, and then we got the plaid on the other side. Hi, Denise, how are you? All right, so that one's done, that one's done. That one's done. This one's not done. Do we have blue? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Green will look good with it though. We have orange. How did I do the other leaf? Where's the other leaf? Oh, here it is. Oh, I just did it like that. Maybe I'll do the you same. Could do, you could do like, um... What's this? Oops, wrong side. That would look good with it, yeah. Maybe a little bit of that and something just at the bottom here. Yeah, like a, like a, oh. just a little bit of green. Maybe. And you should do like this white flower. No, this is fall. Daisy won't go. This. Yeah, that would be better. All right, but we got to do something to cover this up. Not stick your fingers in the hot glue. Mm. We need something else. We need something else. Maybe one. just a little raffia. The red one? Yeah. Where the red one might go. Mm. Do the same thing with the raffia. Or a orange, orange, orange. Orange and yellow. Just to cover up where it is, and we'll do the same thing we did on that other pumpkin. Um, put it on an angle. The raffia. Oops, I don't want it that close. More up here. More up here. flower on top. Which flower are we using? The red one. The red one? Okay. Mm. Right it goes. Jesus. So then we have 
blessing on that side and we have some flowers on this side and these sit on an angle like this let's cut that a little bit short and then any loops down here we'll cut so that kind of fans out like that that one needs a little something more i think on this side all right this side going to be covered where I cut it off there I repainted that I had it white because I did this where I painted it orange and then put the napkin on one and I wanted to do something different what you should do these oh these white things Does might look matches? good in it too where's those white things oh, these those. things yeah, they have one. I have one cut off maybe a little white thing see because it has okay. the white things on it you have to do like these things those two. Oh wait, then get some of those. Some of the small ones. Which ones? These. That might be too small. And then no, Don't where's that? Where's that? Like... Right there. How about the medium yeah. size? Yeah. Or these two. These two. Mm -hmm. One, two. All right. Put one going up. Right. Put one going up. Put one going down. This could go in the middle of them. And then yeah, the flower on top like that. Where's the big thing? A white thing. One there. We need Thank another you. piece. We need yeah. another piece of white stuff. I'm making a mess on the table. A mess. <laughs> that one? Okay. She picks it. I glue it. Putting the flower in the middle? Okay. Well, that's cute, Bailey. Good idea. Good idea. So there's that one. Now the other side, again, you can use ribbon if you have some thin ribbon or something. So let's put, oh, I don't know. I want to put a daisy on this side. I think a daisy would go. What happened to the center of this daisy? There's a set of two of these ones. We could do these. Well, don't cut it yet. We gotta decide what color ribbon. Not ribbon, but mm -hmm. raffia. Do it green. Green? Yeah. Wait. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, pick a color, y'all. It's white on this side. This is what's on one side. And what are we going to put on this side? Y'all tell me. Pick a color. I have green, I have natural, I have orange, I have brown, I have yellow, more orange. I'm going to decide. Everybody decide on what color we should put on this have, side. Like, a peach color. Well, it's like a light orange. Red orange. This is brilliant orange so everybody decide let's see gold janet says gold what color do you pick cassidy janet says gold she says this gold color this yellow color that orange what do you pick hmm? what color do you pick you just hit up here mm. what color um, do you pick i think i know what color i want the yellow in here? I think so, too. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because we have the yellow flowers on this side. Yeah. So just hit like that. I think that would go. Wise choice, Miss Janet. Do we have some out already? Yeah. Sure do. I'm going to have to sweep the floor. Probably. Probably. That's okay. And then we'll recap everything we made today. Uh, Hi, Linda. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, can you step all that back in and seal that up for me, please? I need to two loops of those on each side on this one. Okay. 
can you seal the other bags up too? Or put this green one, green stuff away, tuck it in there. Thank you, ma'am. And this gets daisy flowers. Or daisy flower. Scissors. I like them. And then you should put a daisy in the middle of it. Yeah, that's why I said this one gets a daisy Where's flower. This? Oh. My bow was a little lopsided there. Okay, good. Cut a little bit more of the okay. stem off. Cut about half of the thickness. Perfect. And put a daisy in this one. Oh, I do like that gold color. Yeah, it looks good. That's pretty. All right, push all this away. Mm -hmm. And now we'll recap what we did today. So we started off with decoupaging the pumpkins. So I painted all the sides. We decoupaged one side on all of them. So I'm gonna show you them all to you today, all what we finished here. You can always go back and look on the replay if, it, play. if it's your first time, check at the top. There's three little white dots. Hit on that so you can get notifications when I go live and please bless me. Float my boat, sprinkle the love. All right, so here's one. We got this one here. It's the buffalo plaid with sunflowers, and we did the daisies on that. Ah, Janet says, well done, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then we have a leaf here. This one says, blessing. This was already done, came that way. And we just kind of decorated the other side with another fall leaf napkins and some glue strings. Oh no, that's the wire. Just a little something, something. This sits like this. Um, so the words are like that. Next, we have this gathering one. And we just put some green leaves with a little flower on that one. Just something simple. Then we have this one, which has the gray and white buffalo plaid. And we put some yellow and green up there. And then this one with the napkin on that side with some brown raffia. We didn't want to put anything up top here, although maybe we should now, I think, look at it. I think we'll add this little flower. Scissors. It just yeah, needs a little something. I don't know, it just looked lost there for a minute. Yeah, that looks better. Just pull the raffia down a little bit. Cut this one a little bit shorter. There we go, we just added that one. So they're two-sided, so you can use them on both sides. Can you tilt the camera up a little bit so you can see my head? So we can see my face grease. All right. Oh, we can a little bit. Go ahead. It's not where you can see me. Oh, good God. We're crooked. We're crooked. There we go. Okay, that works. You're crooked, but that's okay. 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 Right there. Leave it. Leave it. Just, just if it's... Oh my God. Just hold it. <laughs> so we get a, don't touch the camera. So this one says hello pumpkin on this side. And then we have that on this side. So we added the napkin, the decoupage, the napkin and the little designs. Then we have this one, the black and white check. We just put a little daisy up there. And then we have this gold, it kind of looks like gold leaf napkin that we put on there, decoupage. It's pumpkins. Pumpkins. pumpkins it's a napkin. And then we had that one again. And then on this side, we went ahead and put a plaid. Just this little something different. So there's our pumpkins. And then this was the one we started out with a wine bottle. Michael's, if you want to drink your own. We started painting, so I did this in stages, and I showed you earlier. We're not doing any more on that. And then this is what she finishes up to be. We made a little girl scarecrow. So you can, and the other one's going to be a boy, so it'll be boy and girl. But we, I have to do it in stages to let the paint dry on the glass a little bit. So we just did the girl. We did some stages with her back and forth. So she's done. All right. So. Thank you guys for stopping by at Nona's Nutty Crafts today. I know it was a long time, but we did some really cool stuff today. All right? So I'll see you next time on Nona's Nutty Crafts. Bye. Got to go up here. Uh -huh.